Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kurtiwadam. In this video, we will learn about Angular 19 HMR updates. That means hot module replacement approach. And how this helps in our application. And mainly we will target on two bases. One is hot module replacement and especially with the styles. So till now styles were not applied in Angular 19 with HMR. But now by Angular 19, it is pro till angular 19 we don't have hmr with styles but from angular 19 we have hmr with styles as well so what is this hot module replacement let me talk about that let me quickly jump into visual studio code and i'll give an example with hmr and without hmr let me go into visual studio code here app.component.html i'm writing some set of input fields so now i'm using something like i'll go with some input field just a normal input field let me go to the browser and clear this off let me update this update input field and now i'm not refreshing the browser instead i'm going here and i'm updating like TechShare skk tutorials and save this now what i did i have updated these tutorials if you see here it got vanished that means whole value has been vanished now what I'll do is I'll create an ng model and let me bind some value into this. So let me use input element and save this. So let me go into the TS file and let me import some set of forms module and save this. Now let me give a value called as input element and I can create a signal. If you want to learn about this modal signal, just check out my previous video. So let me use model as from core and give some value for this and I'm giving an empty value. So let me go here and type something, come back and save the values and go here. You can see the value persist. I didn't change anything and the value persist. And let me go here. I'll update some variables like constructor. I have added a constructor, save this and go here. Now the value gone. That means whenever there is a refreshing happen on this particular values, then whole form has been replaced and it is completely vanished. And in the same way, let me fill some value. So, okay, that, that is fine. I am changing the component.ts and that is how it is affecting and hope we can understand that, okay, Angular is trying to know what we wrote. But for example, let me go into a, a CSS file and let me write some red color. So color is red and save this. Now go here. If I want to add a class name called as red and save this. Now you went here. It is in red color. Let me type something. And now I went here. I'll update this red into green color where my styles are updated. Let me go here. You can still see the value. Even if I update some set of styles, not HTML, not TS values, I am updating only the styles then your values are not vanished that means it is because of hmr provided by angular 19 where styles will help us not to refresh our component when you are using hot module replacement it only replaces the styles of that particular elements not the actual values so you can ask how this helps us it is very simple for example you have a very big form and you have a button which is looking like a blue color and you recognized that after filling all the form values like 10 to 20 fields form values you have filled it and you observe that there is a slight change in the button maybe like it is disabled and you wrote some set of wrong disabled styles so that's why you want to change it when you go here and change this without a hmr whole form will be refreshed and then you have to re-enter all the values it is very hard and it's very painful so that is where hmr will help hot module replacement it only replaces the required values and mainly hmr coming up with styles is a very good thing why because changing style will never change your logic then why i have to refresh whole component that is the strategy behind this hmr so now I'm updating many styles like instead of green, I'll go with yellow and save this. You can see yellow color and I'll go with yellow green, save this and go here. Your value never changed. So that is how your CSS will update 
by using your hot module replacement and if you observe here there is two changes on this css hot update so it is identifying which component change and which class has been changed if you see here there is a number for this ng component and if you go into your elements this is ending with double six seven four nine if you inspect this you will have double six seven four nine that is a class applied on this h1 tag only that specific value is getting updated with that styles for example let me go without hmr how i can use without hmr let me quit this and now i'll use something like ng so minus minus no hyphen hmr i don't want to use hmr then you have to build newly which is not having any hmr values let me go here and you got this yellow green let me type something like sai kumar and let me go back and let me change this color to red and now if i save this see here whole field value has been vanished let me enter once again sai kumar kurtiwana and go here and i am changing back to yellow and save this now you can see this yellow has been updated but your value has been vanished because of hmr and you can see there is no hot update for your angular component so that is how your hmr will help you how to render and when to render and when to reload the component so that is how your hmr will work now we have used this hmr as no hmr and if you want to use this hmr and if you want to make it as a default in your application just go into your angular json in general angular json will be the default configurations and here we are not having any hmr so by default from angular 19 it is having a default value of true but if you want to make that hmr value as false you have to make it here that is nothing but build target just below the build target you will be having an hmr value which is false and think one way that this hmr value that means hard module replacement is only for developers and development purpose not for the production purpose so you will not use hmr for production purpose because this is only for development purpose so that's about your hmr in angular hope this gave you a glance about HMR and how it works. And in the upcoming videos, we will see more set of features. Hope you like my explanation. If you like my video, like, share, subscribe to my channel for more updates. Signing off. Thank you.